Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam. This is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you to Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. Um, if you've been on my channel, let's say in the past year or so, which many of you probably aren't, if you're new out there, see me for the first time, hello. My name's Adam. I'm part of HMO4 Gaming. And this game just likes to do, as like old, all old games like to do, is keep trying to go to a cutscene, which is not what I want to do. Um, I do a lot of JRPGs, RPGs in general, and the like. So if you like, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. So like I was saying before, if you're new around here or a returning subscriber, you may already know that I tried my hand at the beginning of SMT3 Nocturne. I think it's some way mid way through 2020. Um, so you can take a um, look at that to see some differences, but we're here now in the HD remaster Getting ready to finally conquer the game. I know in that playthrough. I said I was a noob which okay Which I was gonna say is it not gonna like let me select the difficulty? Um, I played Persona 5 Persona 5 strikers and bits and pieces of 3 and 4 of Persona But so I am basically a dirty Persona person person coming straight new from um, those games into this game, so definitely going to be somewhat blind. I know the beginning of the game well enough and some basic mechanics, but outside of getting past, I think, the second boss, um, I don't really know much more about the game itself. So hopefully if anyone's watching, give me some helpful tips down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to play it on normal, first time playing it, definitely from what I've seen everywhere. Do not play it on hard if it's your first time playing. A world that loses its power will fade into nothing. If such is the fate of this world, then I shall return it to its mother's womb. The world must first die for it to be born again. This is the path to salvation, as foretold in an ancient prophecy. The world will fall for its sins, and everyone living will vanish. But I won't let you meet the same fate. I want to help you hold on to your life. To do so, I need to know your name. Will you tell me who you are? Will I? Will I tell you who I am? Also, in that earlier playthrough on my channel, I tried my hand at voice acting everything. Uh, so, <laughs> you can go back and take a look at all that cringiness if you like. Um, the one main bad guy, I think I did a pretty good uh, job. It seems like I like to make all the bad guys in all of my Let's Plays basically the uh, Emperor. So, uh, it's always fun. Also, I really hope that family name is my last name and given name is my first name, or else this is going to really look awkward. So, yep, yeah, HMO4 and Mr. Adam. Enter my nickname. Uh, only because I like doing this. Um, I like naming a lot of my Pokemon after it too in my games because I'm a massive nerd. Uh, we're gonna go with the. Uh, my nickname is Revan. Don't know why. I just I'm a huge Darth Revan fan, so that's what we're gonna go with. Huh. I wonder if that's even just to make sure that's how we even spell Revan because. I am an awesome person, terrible content creator. How are you guys even subscribed to this nonsense? I mean, really? Hey, yeah, there we go. Just really dumb. Never said I was the smartest tool in the toolbox, but hey, what do you got? So HMO4, Adam, Revan, it's our nickname. Get ready to probably just be called Revan throughout the entire game, so let's do it. Mm. That's right. As of now, your will to live shall sustain you. Believe in it, and survive. I'm glad you understand. The time is near. Everything that is will be rewritten. I am the nurturer of the next world. The template for our future rests within my hands. Now, 
I want you to say my name aloud. Yeah, and pretty much with every uh, person in this game, just going to keep their normal name. So this is Yuko Takio, um, and she's technically our teacher, but we're just going to keep it that way. That's right. Oh, they're not going to say their name, so I'm making sure I'm, I'm saying it correctly. Madness. <sighs> no, I won't shed another tear. Not even at this world's end. Also, I just wanted to add Instead, that I did not buy any of the DLC. To come. So in this playthrough, we're playing the, um, I think it's Manic something. Um, it's the original version that came out in Japan now go ahead. that we never got over Wake here. Um, so instead of here. Dante, we're going to be getting Raido Kuzunoha, which I think is a lot cooler anyway than Dante. If you've ever played any of the De Devil Summoner games. Yogi Cohen, Yo Yogi Cohen, please do not rush onto the train. The door is now closing. All right. So I can already mm -hmm. tell everything looks a lot nicer. Do I have a voice? You received the message. You're late, Adam. What's the big idea? You forget we're visiting Miss Takio today. Just get to Yogi Park ASAP. Time's a-wasting. It's from your classmate. Please enter your classmate's name. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to really make any much changes, like I said. So this is Asume Natakita. Um, again, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yeah, we're just going to keep it the same. Real talk, I'd prefer more of a private counseling scenario, but Ms. Takio is a lot nicer when you're around. Oh, right. Be sure to dress to impress, after all. You represent me by way of association. How about that slick jacket you bought the other day? The one with the little demon spirit. Remember, you're just the mood maker. Don't get twisted, okay? <laughs> Alright. I, I guess he has a thing for his teacher. Also, what's wrong with the way I'm dressed? I have like two jackets on. I have like a green hoodie on underneath of my regular jacket that has demons on it, I guess. Along with my short shorts and my blue shirts. Boy, I'm clashing everywhere. I got blue shoes, I got green and yellow and light blue. Damn. Also, don't forget the drink. Yes, I will. Because when you get this later, it turns into a basic healing item. And there's nothing over there ever, and this dude, I think, wants to talk to us. Let me guess, you're here for Yogi Park? Ever since that incident went down, it's been one looky-loo after another. No one's here for the train. As you can probably tell, I've had a lot of time on my hands. You've heard the news, right? Yeah? Yeah, I can't imagine anyone who hasn't. It's all over the airways by now. Anyway, sorry to talk to your ears off. Probably not something I should be doing on the job, hey? I mean, yeah, I mean, you can talk to me. So I guess cutscenes are the only thing that's voice acted. Everything else is still not, so hooray for my horrendous voice acting coming up. Will you leave the area? Yep. Alright, so get a look at that nice late 2000s uh, map. Pretty much all these people. It's just telling you about where to go, what to do, what's going on. So there's police officers. I do like how they added the little red marks so you know exactly what areas you can go into. Um, just young man talking about the riots in Yogi Park because there's occult stuff going on and all that. There's a Shibuya building, the news showing the giant video display. Oh, I can actually watch it. Is it voice acted? No. A riot broke out yesterday at Yogi Park regarding the construction of a communication tower. The demonstration got out of hand and there has been several deaths and injuries reported. Furthermore, Hawakawa, the top executive of cyber communications, remains missing. And now over to Key for the latest sports. The news continues. Oh, apparently the demon dude from the intro is missing. Ah, uh, curious. Also, there's really nothing else around. We're just here in Shibuya, basically going on around Tokyo. I mean, you can talk to some of the people, but there's really not much going on. Um, ultimately, we're going to be heading up here to the hospital, but for right now, we should head on to Yogi Park, like uh, our classmate told us to do, which is right here.
and are you voice acted, dude? So I can actually get your Great. name correct. The entire park's closed off. That is not the voice I was thinking of for him. You can't even let a guy in to snap a few photos. <sighs> guess it's not my lucky day. Well, I guess it kind of fits. <laughs> what up? You need something, kid? Uh, what happened here? Well, here's what they said on TV. Panic erupts as a clash between corporate representatives and a civic organization ends in violent deaths. Pretty disturbing, right? But those who live on the fringe say... Now, I don't know if his lips always moved, or they just kind of added that because there's now voice acting. It was a deeper struggle between two cults. Maybe they did, I don't remember. Uh, I think that's your phone going off. Hey, are you there? Okay. Finally, I get a hold of you. What's taking you so long? Please enter your classmate's name. Yeah. Chiyakaki Takiro. I could see if it was our other friend, but you're never late. Our other friend. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Where are you now? Yoyogi Park. Yoyogi Park. Well, since you decided not to show, we had to leave without you. We're almost there now. So, yeah, would you mind coming straight to the hospital? You do know which hospital it is, right? Shinjuku Medical Center. Just go east from Shinjuku Station and keep going. You can't miss it. Hmm, I guess this works out. I was planning to ask our teacher for career advice, so I'll just go ahead of you. Is now the right time for that? <laughs> what? I happen to care about my future, thank you very much. Honestly, it's time you boys started planning ahead, too. Anyway, I'd appreciate if you could get the move on. Hope to see you soon. Hold up. You're on your way to Shinjuku Medical Center? Now, I know this is like the beginning of the game, but I'm... The voice acting really is engaging. I don't know if it's just me, but damn. Hmm. That's... also where I'm headed, oddly enough. Go figure. Why don't you hang on to this? It's a copy of our upcoming issue. I'm assuming you don't know what went down here. Then, you probably don't know what kind of place that hospital is either. The name's Hijiri, author of the Ring of Gaia and the Scripture of Moroku. Might want to give that a read. Alright, so I did, I think, say your name correctly the first time. Hijiri. Okay, so... You know, nothing, normally, nothing too bad about joining cults. You a hospital with the occult. That hospital is anything but normal. Or so they say. Huh? There's a lot of misinformation floating around these days. If it turns out I'm wrong, just laugh it off, okay? Anyway, I'd better be going. Oh yeah, in the event we run into each other again, let me know how you liked my article. I would love to read it, but you never can. All right, and like he said, we'll just head on up to the hospital. Also, I like how there's in the bottom right there a baseball field. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, come on. There you go. And I don't want to go through the front door. I'll go through the other door. All right, so we're inside the medical center meeting our friends, and we were supposed to talk to our teacher for some reason in the hospital. I wonder if it's ever explained what we're actually doing in the hospital and why it has to be a hospital and not like our school, but whatever. Auto map? What the hell is auto map? Oh, okay. What other? I didn't even get to take control of any of this. Can I see anything else? No. No, all I have is the map. I don't even have a way to save. Oh, interesting. Hello. Oh, I was gonna walk right past you, apparently. Well, hey! About time. You're much more cheerier than I would have thought with your voice actor. Um, is it just me, or is something seriously off here? Yeah, I mean, you're wearing denim on denim. Hmm. <laughs> there isn't anyone in sight. No nurses, no patients. I was gonna say, then what the hell are we doing here? Look, even the reception desk is empty. Don't you think there's something weird about this place? Mm, I sure do.
Anyway, you know who is looking for our teacher right now. And big surprise, he's still gone. He'd better not be off goofing around. Oh, what's with that magazine? I don't know, some guy gave it. Do you want to read it? Knowing your taste, it probably wouldn't interest me. She says this, but then she's just going to sit down here and read the whole damn thing. Ayakashi Monthly. Never heard of it before. What? It's an occult magazine? Why would you bring something like that here? I don't know. The guy just gave it to me. <sighs> well, maybe it could help me kill some time. And he said he put an article in there, and I didn't want to be rude. Anyway, can you go find that bonehead? If sure. you can't find our teacher, then I don't want to be here another minute. You should be on the second floor, where the patient's rooms are. I'll be waiting down here. Oh, and leave the mag with me. Don't leave me hanging too long, okay? I also never noticed that she has rings on. I don't know if that's in the original version. Granted, I'm on the talk. I've played the original version for all of, like, a couple hours. <laughs> Alright, so what we want to do, he's just upstairs. Oh, I think I already went out the wrong door. <laughs> Because I'm great. The door's not open. But I want to read what's on the door. Oh, no, I did go the right way. Okay. And then we're going to look across the way. And there's our bud. He's just looking around with his bell-bottom pants on and his little beret. Someone's in the other holiday. Holiday. Hallway. You can clearly see it's your friend, dude. Go across the hall. Oh wait, 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 wait! I almost forgot. Yeah, again, it's just basic healing items once we get into the thick of it. I want a Jack Frost coffee. Damn. All right, continue on. And he's in this first room, I think. Yeah. I don't see what kind of voice act. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Oh man, you scared the crap out of me. Why'd you go sneaking up like that? All these people's voice actors is not what I would have thought it was gonna be. Jeez, you come here late, you cause trouble. You know what? Forget it. Not worth it. I mean, you're the one with like the demon belt buckle and the cowboy boots on. I'm sure you've already noticed, but this place has been cleaned out. You think everyone, uh, died off? Again, what in God's name are we doing here, then? I called her teacher to make sure this was it. She clearly told me. Shinjuku Medical Center. Um, I'm gonna be the cool guy. Just relax. Dude, how are you not freaking out? I'm getting some super negative vibes right now. Well, it's a hospital. I mean, not everything is positive in here. I've already checked out everywhere she might be. I'm running out of places to look. Think we should just call it? Yeah, might as well. All right. I'm going to head back down and check out how our other lady's doing. Tricky is. I bet she's all pissed because I've been gone so long. <sighs> it ain't easy pleasing a princess. Anyway, I really hope this isn't the shitstorm it's shaping up to be. Oh, it is, and it's over ten years in the making. The Sumu left the um, hallway. Look at that ray tracing. Look at those shadows and ambient occlusion. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there ain't none of that. Also, just a quick note on our way back. If you haven't noticed already, we are playing the Switch version. Why the Switch version? Because as you can imagine, this is a JRPG, an older JRPG. And uh, there's going to be moments where we're going to have to get some levels. And I would like to do that everywhere, not just sitting in front of my TV. So that's one of the main reasons. Plus, I just like checking things out on Switch. Plus, I, d I really doubt a game from 2003 is going to run any better regardless on what console you're on. 
if it's not that intensive of a game if the ps2 can handle it just fine i'm pretty sure with some updated graphics and relatively everything else is the same it'll be just fine plus when you have other games like xenoblade and fire emblem and some other games like this like the outer worlds like we uh, have checked out on the channel things like that can run on no fine this will run on there just fine and the character models are nice smooth out it's not you know watercolors like it was on the ps2 and it doesn't look foggy <laughs> all right let's check in and of course our friend's not here you done with the magazine Oh, you're back. So, you know that special report at the beginning of the magazine? No, I literally didn't read it. <laughs> well, it says some things that are more than a little unsettling. According to this, there's a group of demon worshippers who call themselves the Ring of Gaia. Lovely. You're, you were just freaking out about an occult, and now you're, like, so enthused about all this. And they're right here in Japan. Apparently, they believe in this book of prophecy called the Scripture of Miroku. Miroku. In that book, it says that chaos will engulf the world, and these people are trying to cause that somehow. Whether their idea of chaos means terrorism or something else entirely, the reporter couldn't figure that out. But get this. Uh, no luck finding her. I even checked the men's room. <laughs> Ugh, didn't need to know that. We're in the middle of a conversation here, so save those details for later. God. Now, listen to this part. A hospital on the east side of Shinjuku is closely linked to the organization's sinister plan. I also want to point out that I really wish there was just an auto-scroll button. Like, I have to hit A every single time. Let me guess. That ends with... Find out more in our next issue. Though it wouldn't surprise me if that article had some truth to it. I've heard some real spooky shit about this place. Like how they run deadly experiments on patients. Or how a psychic started shrieking and bolted out of here. And of course, there's a rumor that a cult's behind it all. You're serious? I never knew any of that. Maybe we really shouldn't have come here. I almost feel stupid for buying into some bizarre tabloid, but it does get one thing right. How creepy this hospital is. Mm-hmm. We really need to find her, don't we? Okay, we search this place top to bottom one last time. If nothing pops up, we assume nothing's wrong, and we split. By the way, looks like you can reach the annex from the second floor. I'll go take a look up there. Whereas you have the honor of searching the basement. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. Oh, so you found the card to get into the basement, and you chose the higher ground instead of sending me down there. Well, sending yourself You're down the there. You're the one who found the card. Why don't you search the basement? Yeah. Could it be you're too scared? Come on, this is me we're talking about. The only reason he's going is because I'm sure there's nothing down there. Look, all you need to do is confirm that our teacher isn't in the basement. Got it? After all, saving the day is my job. Should things take a turn for the worse, just run like hell. Okay? It's almost like he wants to foreshadow some of the uh, encounters in this game. <laughs> anyway, let's focus on finding our teacher. No matter what, we have to make sure she's safe. Do we? I mean, she's the adult here. We're just the high school kids. All right, I guess down we go. Select the floor. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can really go anywhere else right now. So the basement. I'm sure there's nothing going on down here in the creepy basement with all the pictures and blood all over the floor. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing uh, out of the ordinary going on. Um, 
Um. Okay, so it's one of the rooms at the end. So none of these. Oh yeah, wait. Oh yeah, pentagram and all, and blood all over the thing. I couldn't remember if this was here as well. There you go. We got some satanic worship right here. Oh yeah. And I think all the other rooms are just like that. I think the one we want is at the end of the hall. Oh no, that is the other one. Those are just the same room. It's this one. Alrighty. And before we go in, this cutscene, if you want to see something really hilarious or my bad voice acting, go back and watch my um, Noob 2020 playthrough of this game. I think it is in episode one of my Emperor-esque um, uh, voice acting I give to this guy. I think it's one of my best jobs, if I say so myself. You can hear eerie sounds from the room. Will you enter? Well, I can't wait to hear this guy's voice. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably not as good as mine. Who is it? Who dares disrupt this stillness? Only a lost lamb. Oh yeah, my voice acting is much better. A well-known poet once said, April is the cruelest month. Have you any inclination as to why? Because it is then one awakens from a long sleep and faces the barren world. Our history as a species is similarly barren, comprised of empty trivialities. The worthless overgrowth of a civilization blind to its sins. Continuous war and bloodshed. In thousands of years of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. The world needs to wipe its slate clean. The way to salvation was foretold in the scripture of Miroku. And today... That prophecy shall be fulfilled. The old world will sink like a setting sun, and the new world will arise in its place. Now, how should I deal with you? From what I recall, you weren't among our followers who survived the purge at the park. Oh. You're her acquaintance. Come to think of it, this was a hospital, wasn't it? And you merely came to visit her. However, even a pebble creates ripples when cast in water. And while I do feel pity for you, your life ends here. Do not be afraid. All the inhabitants of this world will follow before long. Your time has just come a bit sooner. That's all. Hell no, we're facing it. You fool. Don't tell me what to do. No one can overcome their fate. Stop! Huh? Hmm? I just like how the music suddenly ends what? and just you can't even let one person that. go. What effect could he possibly have on our plan? However insignificant he is, I am not a man of exceptions. You know this. Fine. If you don't spare him, then consider our partnership over. I like the eyebrow twist. Such a troublesome maiden. Well, I'll leave the teaching to the teacher. Please leave this room. I would like to enjoy this blissful end in solitude. I'll be waiting on the roof. We'll have a good view of the city from there. 
Come, see it with your own eyes. Witness that which will change the world. Uh, okay, I have no idea what you're talking about, teacher, but if you want to go up on the roof with me, alright. I also don't really understand why she would invite us here. Like, because she knows, obviously, this is going to be the end of the world. So why does she invite the three of us to this hospital knowing full well that her person, master, whoever, would, like, try and kill us? Someone is up ahead. <laughs> What's wrong, my little master? Are you curious about that person over there? No. Oh. And my voice acting for these two, um, if you know some Yu Yu Hakusho, um, I kind of make her sound like uh, the, the older Tagoro, and then the little master just basically like just a kid voice, like a raspy little oh, annoying kid voice. is that so? My, my. But right now, we have other matters to attend to. Let's do that afterwards. Alright, creepy. So let's head on to the roof. Again, I don't know if they explain that in future, like why she invited us to this hospital in the first place, knowing full well it's gonna be the end of the world, but whatever. Let's go to the apocalypse. So, here we are again. I'm glad I intervened when I did. How did you get up here so fast? I wouldn't want you to fall prey to a demon. You heard what Hikawa said, right? Hikawa. There we go. This world is about to be swallowed. Just so I chaos. know how they uh, pronounce these things. It's called the Conception. The rebirth of the world. An event which no human has ever witnessed. Everyone outside of this hospital will perish. I doubt anyone would approve of such a terrible thing. But even if we did keep this old world alive, it would eventually lose all its power. The world must first die, for it to be born again. And I alone will carry the burden of its sin. As for regrets, I have none. What matters is that fate reached out and led you here. So you're saying your fate to tell us to come here? I do approve of how nice the background looks, though. And it is your fate to live through the conception. It may actually be more painful than death. But Foreshadowing. I believe in you. At least for how hard I've heard this game is. Oh, thank you. It's always good to have someone believe in me. Please. Come find me when it's done. No matter how the world changes, I'll be your pillar of strength. It is my duty as the Maiden to take part in shaping the new world. Meaning I can show you a better way to live. Alright. I know it must be I mean, difficult if you wanna for you to go understand. out with me, I'll go out with you. You don't have to get all cryptic about it. <laughs> but we're out of time. Listen, if you can find me on your own, I promise to tell you everything. I hope so. The answers to all your questions, and what my intentions really are. Alright. And cue early 2000s cutscene. Aw, yeah. I don't know why they do this with, like, remasters, quote-unquote, for, like, these games. I was like, remaster these cutscenes? Come on, put some effort in.
would enter my world. Reveal your heart to me. You have nothing stirring within you. Not even a hint of reason. For the one who will shape the world, this is cannot be. Oh man, we got Daddy God Voice Sojiro over here. Perfect. Go forth and discover yourself. What will be the legacy of your existence? To make the best coffee and best curry known to man and demon and everything. World, new world based on curry and coffee. Do not be afraid. My little master has taken an interest in you. Pitiful human though you are, he wishes to grant you a gift. It is vital that you receive it, and I'm afraid you have no choice. Please try not to struggle. It will only hurt for an instant. Magatama is the essence of demonic power. With it, you have joined the ranks of demons. I've also apparently lost my hoodies. My little master is always watching, so please try not to bore him. Obtain the Magatama Maragora. From the command menu, you can view and ingest Magatama. Alright, and that is the start of our journey here in Shimagami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster here on the Switch. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And please look at this space, because we'll be doing a lot more of this in future. But until next time, I have been Adam. This has been HMO4 Gaming. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.